Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fire Saints here. Hope everybody's well. Leo Virgo, it is time for your cusp baby reading. I apologize. I know I am very much behind on that. But we're going to get this set done. Tonight, hopefully. Tonight or tomorrow. Who flew out? Oh, wow. Let's shuffle these back in. The Star, the Nine of Cups, and the Emperor. I'm loving this for you. I'm leaving it out. I'm not shuffling that back in. There's a message in that. You're healing. You're finding your inner peace. You're taking your power back. That is freaking beautiful. It could be an Aquarius or an Aries that you are dealing with. All right, one quick shuffle. We're gonna tip them down. Knave of Swords, Ten of Wands reversed. You got something to say, you can't quite say it. There's a burden you have not released. All right. Five of Cups reversed, Ten of Coins. Ace of Swords. Hmm. All right, tell me why. <sighs> Something didn't come together. Possibly some jealous, jaded energy. Something got left. I gotta get a clarifier on that judgment reversed. <coughs> hmm. Eight of Wands. Speak and speak now. Eight of Swords. Hmm. You, me, you, okay, you not being able to get something off your chest could have something to do with an anxiety issue. Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Again, you're coming into your own. You're healing from something. One second, please. Sorry about that. I had to get a kid to turn the TV down. Okay. Where was I? Talk to me about this Five of Cups reversed. Eight of Swords. Mm-hmm. Eight of Swords and Nine of Swords. You're confronting... Whatever it is you've been repre you've been repressing, you're gonna have to confront it, and you're extremely anxious about it. <sighs> Queen of Swords, King of Swords, Six of Cups, Seven of Cups, Soulmate Energy, Confusion, Truth, Someone Wanting Truth. Oh, wow. Talk to me about this Ten of Pentacles. Talk to me about this Ten of Pentacles. Two of Wands reversed into the Three of Wands reversed. Indecisive energy. Wheel reversed, Justice reversed. Oh, wow. Well, okay. That's very interesting. This almost feels job. It could be job, could be family home. Either way, you swing it. You're hanging on to something you, you don't want to hang on to anymore. 
you're kicking the ball around about leaving because you're sick of waiting. But there could possibly be a backlash. Yeah, five of cups reverse, six of cups reverse. You're afraid of a backlash. Why the ace of swords? Eight of coins, nine of coins for this ace of swords. Okay, well. There may be some backlash, but who gives a crap? You gotta do what's best for you. Ten of wands and an ace of wands. Really? Really? Tower and the star. It's, it's like an unavoidable change. It's going to come to a head. It's going to come to a point where a new cycle has to start whether or not you want it to. And it will be for your benefit. Absolutely, it will be for your benefit. <coughs> Tower moments are rough, but they're necessary. Towers fall to move things out of your way, guys. Okay. Except for why it happened. Why the three pentacles reversed? Ace cups, two cups, three coins, four coins. One more. Knight of coins to the queen of coins. Very nice. Talk to me about this King of Wands. The Chariot in Strength. Hmm. Emperor Reverse, Terrafit Reverse. Oh, wow. And there it is. Hush. Dang. Seems like there's already been a backlash. Mm-hmm. There was definitely a backlash here. Forced to distance. Hope you're strong enough to make it on your own. Two upside down kings and an upside down emperor. There was definitely some outside influence here that was not too thrilled about the decision that was made. Whoa, okay. Why judgment reverse? Eight of cups, nine of cups, star into the moon. Oh yeah, you sailed off into the great unknown, chasing after your happiness. Buried something before you left. Ace of swords reversed to the two of swords reversed. Dang. Might not have had a whole ton of clarity. Seven of coins into the eight of coins at the bottom of the deck. But you had patience with the process and you prospered. You're coming into your own. But a conversation needs to be had. The moon reversed. Into the sun reversed. Received all the clarity that you needed and... It was a rough ride, wasn't it? 
Definitely was a rough ride. All right, talk to me about this Eight of Wands as the outcome. You know, the road to prosperity is not always an easy one. You gotta put in the work, you gotta put in the effort, you gotta keep your eyes on the road. Keep looking in that rear view mirror, you're gonna miss what's in front of you. Six of Swords, Seven of Swords. Why? This is about communicating and moving forth. Crossing the choppy waters. Five of Wands into this. Even, even if it does. Even if it does pop off into a conflict. You're going after victory here. And you're probably dealing with someone that's going to try to manipulate you. I think you realize that. That's why this Eight of Swords is laying here again. Hereafit into the Lovers. Powerful connection. Three swords of verse to the four swords of verse. And you all rest. Okay. I feel like this restless anxiety is. Yeah. Temperance reverse, devil reversed. This restless anxiety and this negative energy is going to suck you right back in again. One more. Two of coins reverse to the three of coins reverse. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? If I do this, I'm going to piss somebody off. If I do this, I'm going to piss somebody else off. If I do this, I'm going to be pissed off. What do I do? Do what's best for you. King of Swords. Page of Swords. <coughs> Speak of truth. Level up. Do the logical thing. Take emotions out of the equation. Give me moonology. You're moving up in the world, kid. You're moving up in the world, and it has not been an easy road. A time for healing. Luck is on your side. We're going to take them. Balsamic moon, a time for healing. Pulling this card suggests that the past is in the past and a bright future is beckoning. However, before you take your next step, make sure that both you and the situation feel healed. This is not the time to paper over cracks or to simply pretend that everything is okay. Rather, you still need a little more time to heal and to soothe both yourself and anyone else in need. Learn to remind yourself that anything is possible if you believe it. This is also a time to surrender and wait to hear guidance from the universe. Powerful insights can be had. If you know that someone or something really isn't good for you, this card is a reminder to surrender. Start to work on your belief in your dreams so you're ready when the time comes. Wow, okay. Luck is on your side. New moon in Sagittarius. <coughs> Pardon me. I still have this cough. Whatever's coming your way, it looks set to put a smile on your face. The new moon in Sagittarius can mark the restart of fun after a period of feeling low. The energy is adventurous and even willing to take a few risks, but be careful you don't bet the farm on something here, as the Wheel of Fortune is still spinning. This card is about exploring life metaphorically by exchanging big ideas with others or just thinking about your own philosophies. Perhaps it's time to change your mind about something important. It can also signal that a trip away is coming up. If that's something you're working to achieve, maybe some of y'all going to be traveling. But the overall message of this card is that whatever happens next will be some sort of gift, even if that simply means widening your view. <coughs> oh gosh, excuse me. The tower is a gift, guys. The tower is a gift. It doesn't have to. Catastrophic change. 
dramatic change. It may suck in the moment. It may hurt in the moment. It may not even suck or hurt. I feel like something is about to be moved the hell out of the way so you can finish your healing, so you can move forward. I really feel that for you, Leo Virgo babies. Why? Good card. Number 31. Three plus one is four. Four is the number of stability. Okay. D -d 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 number 31. If I can find the bloody thing. Okay, there it is. Motives driving intention. The power of knowing the why. There's a great power in understanding your motives right now. The oracle asks you to be very clear about why you're asking this question, looking for this answer, behaving this way, and most important, making this choice. Knowing your why is the key to fulfillment. When you are clear about it, your intention will then be a magnet for miracles. Motives define the nature of your experience. When you think about something, feel it, and then act on it. This, invis this invisible why is the life force energy within the seed, which brings it to life and holds the potential for growth. Friends. Okay, guys. Know that you are loved. Be blessed. Again, I apologize for the delay. Take care, and I will catch you next time around.